here we have a wet detention pond. Stormwater ponds generally are there to preserve the state water quality standards. When you have runoff, when it rains, the rain will pick up a lot of the pollutants on the surface, the impervious surfaces like the roads, will pick up maybe some oils and greases, or on a field it'll pick up some fertilizer. And that all filters into the pond. It stores it so during a storm the water won't flood the streets. It also treats the water through a combination of the plants and also the permanent pool or the deeper part of the pond. That's where a lot of the pollutants and the nutrients will fall out. The plants will help filter some of that and then it goes out through an outfall control structure. That'll go downstream into the natural areas. My name is Russell Martin, and I'm the lead compliance environmental scientist. The water management district gets involved in the design of the ponds, and then once the permit's issued, we follow up with compliance, and that's where my involvement is. After the ponds are built, we'll inspect them to make sure they're built properly. In the wet detention system, the purpose of the plants and the vegetation is really there to try to uptake some of the nutrients. So in a shallower area, they call that the littoral zone of the pond, is where you get the vegetation growing. And oftentimes these are the areas that have a lot of problems with residents because it'll grow up with some taller vegetation, weedy stuff such as cattails and primrose willow. But the point is that those plants are there to uptake some of the nutrients and then that cleans it, that filters it. I think it's very important. I'm honored and privileged to work for the district and to have a role in ensuring that these areas are maintained and monitored properly.